WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. You had the uh, Dow Industrials up three, NASDAQ up 40, S&Ps up five and a half. They got them all in the green, folks. They're pretty good. Uh, they did really good uh, with the Dow Industrials uh, getting in the green because guess what? They got it in the green literally uh, 10 seconds before the bell at 4 p.m. Gold contract. Gold contract down $6.70, trading at $14.59 an ounce. We had silver down 23 cents, $16.77 an ounce. Light sweet crude. $57.41 a barrel of notes and bonds. You get the 10-year down two ticks, 128.10. 30-year down 11 at 156.10. King dollar. King dollar was up 224 ticks, trading 98,367. Euro closed out the week at 110. The yen at 109.21. And the pound at 127 to 1 U.S. dollar. What you're going to see out here, folks, uh, inside your S&P... Of course, that hit all-time highs. That being said, you're laying up here on a weekly basis with a nice little doji at highs. That uh, bottom line, we'll see how this uh, shakes out next week. We look at the NDX 100, which also went to all-time highs this week. Same type of setup. Once you got to the all-time high, you just basically had a sideways week, um, you know, with, without price spread um, all week. Dow Industrial is a different ballgame. Dow, Dow Industrial uh, is not laying up on a doji up there. Uh, Dow Industrial is uh, closed today at 27,680. And the uh, high out here is 27,774. Uh, oh, I think I got it today. Let's see. Uh, 774. No, it was yesterday. Got it yesterday. That's the bottom line. Uh, gold contract. Uh, gold contract out here. That got slammed, as did bonds this week. Uh, gold contract closed down $7.40. That, that does lay open that a $14.48 can get hit. $14.48 is the breakout area in gold from the 5th of August. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come join us back here Monday morning. Larry Pesavento kicks us off. Great program, 9 o'clock in the morning. Have a great one, folks.